everyone welcome to my channel i'm really glad to see you again for those who don't know me i'm anastasia or anastasia today i'm going to create a different video today we're going to talk about neurographic art and not only talk but actually we are going to draw together soon i'm going to tell you what you are going to need don't worry it's not something extraordinary so first let's uh, find out what is this neurographic art maybe you have heard about it before. So recently I was sharing really often on my Instagram stories that I'm drawing uh, these uh, weird uh, drawings uh, with the lines and the colors. Then I asked you to vote if you want a video from me about this topic and uh, you were very interested in this. I'm glad, really happy that we are going to draw right now together. First of all, what is neurographic art? Neurographic art is a technique which comprises drawing freedom lines or neural lines. These are meant to enable the connection between the conscious and the unconscious, gaining access to the inner self by using a specific algorithm or method. In other words, we are working with our mindset while we are drawing and we are working at this moment on a topic that we want to solve in our head about uh, a problem that we may have or different areas of our life that we want to correct, that we want to solve eventually. We tend to have a lot of blocks in our head that are stopping us us from progress, from achieving our goal, but something is stopping us and uh, we just are stuck there and not uh, evolving, not moving. So this technique allows you to work on that problem while you're drawing these neural lines. So you're working with your mindset, with your conscience and your unconscious self. You will not believe it, but your mind will actually find the solutions to that problem be released from your stress because this is actually a very good art therapy but it's not only that it will allow you to release your stress feel more relaxed to feel more secure and while you're drawing all your focus even if you think about something else while you're drawing all your focus will tend to work on that problem. Neurographic art or neurographica is a way for us to act out an emotional throw. If possible, we can release our negative emotions on the paper by disconnecting meditatively during this creative process. And to be honest, this is true. When I draw, I feel more secure, I feel more relaxed. Still, I let my mind to think about a problem that I have, but I am not stressed about it anymore. I just try to find something that can work for me better and this is just amazing. And this method was created by a Russian psychologist Pavel Piskaryov and he named this method Neurographica in Russian or Neurographic art because when we are using this method this drawing method we are actually working on our neurosystem on our neurons and uh, this affects our mindset how we approach things how we tend to approach a problem solutions that can come to a problem this can change our negative mindset some negative blocks that we have in our head towards to a better direction we can actually get rid of that negative mindset that is holding us in a you know a tiny room and not letting us to just see the horizon to explore this world to not have these fears anymore this all works all this can achieve just this method of painting or drawing or doodling so for who is this this is for everybody you don't have to be an artist you don't have to have a talent in drawing definitely no you can still do it with uh, several paintings you are actually going to like what you are going to create and this is just amazing. So what are you going to need? So this is uh, not a short session, you actually will need some time from one hour to one hour and a half, it depends. So you need to have some time available for yourself. If right now you don't have the time, then pause this video and uh, come back when you actually have some time for yourself because 
it is important to not interrupt the process. It is important to finish your drawing and uh, I will explain you why. Get ready, we are going to need a piece of paper. I suggest to use the format A4 because it is uh, small enough and as a beginner you don't really need a big piece of paper. Then you are going to need a black marker and uh, this should be thin marker from 0.5 to 1. And I have here several markers because uh, sometimes I want my lines more thick and uh, some others more thin. So at this moment you're going to need just a thin marker. Then you're going to need as well colorful markers and I have Carioca markers but you can have any other markers that are colorful. You don't need a lot of colors for your art. It's nice to mix it up, it's nice to have a variety of colors so you can choose. There is no rule of what color you are going to use. We are going to see this further. But, uh, right now I'm going to tell you that there is no any rule of what color you are going to use because it's up to you. It's up on your mood, it's up on your emotions at this moment when you are drawing, so you decide. It can be just one color if you want to. Oh, and I forgot, an old marker, a black old marker, marker that uh, it's not uh, writing very good. I have one right now. I will explain you why. So piece of paper, a good black thin marker, colorful markers and if you have an old black marker as well. So I believe we are ready to start. And I forgot to mention before that I'm using uh, this drawing method since August of 2022 and uh, I just find it so wonderful. I have noticed some changes in uh, some areas in my life, but I already noticed how I actually feel about them, how my mindset shifted. This is uh, very unique and uh, I'm just uh, highly recommending you to just at least try it. So what is a neurographic line? So think about our neurons and we are trying to copy the shape of our neurons. And one important thing here in neurographic art is that we try to get rid of the stereotypes because the stereotypes keep us behind. We are stuck in a stereotype and we cannot just look around and see other ways and solutions because we are in this negative mindset. So we are trying to get rid of them here because we don't need them in our life. We just don't need them. I will show you now what is a stereotype and this is the wrong way to draw neurographic art. So a stereotype is this, when you repeat yourself, when you repeat the shapes in your line and sometimes uh, you're going to notice when you are drawing uh, your neurographic art, you're, you're going to notice that you are repeating yourself and it's normal, it's okay, we tend to think stereotypically and we need to avoid that and it is hard, believe me, it is slightly hard, but it's not impossible. This is a stereotype. Stereotype, because we have repeats here. We don't need repeats, no repeats. I will show you another um, repeating line. It can be, let's say, this. So this is a stereotype. This is also a stereotype. You see? Um, this is a stereotype. Even this is a stereotype. So we are going to do a cross line here and I'm going to show you what is a correct neurographic art, neurographic line. So, so whenever you feel that you want to put your line towards a direction, just make with your, just put your hand to go to the other direction. So let's say it's a free way of uh, painting. You don't have to go to a specific way. You can cross. I already have a repeating because I tend to think stereotypically myself as well. Neurographic line is actually a line that goes towards all directions. And if your hand wants to go here, try to put push yourself to go towards a different direction. So this is more like a neurographic line. And 
I will go here too to show you more examples. Um, this is neurographic line because it's different. Do you see? It's in all, it's at all points different. This is a neurographic line. So your hand is free, your hand... Well, sometimes it's nice to put some pressure on the paper if you feel better, but for the sake of keeping <laughs> this liner uh, alive, uh, just have your hand free and uh, just put your line towards different different directions and you can you can put lines on top and you can make some um, some places uh, some points more thicker and uh, some leave more thin so this is the one thing that you need to pay attention the second thing that we need to pay attention is that the key in neural line is to make the edges round we don't need sharp edges in our mindset in uh, our neurons because this is um, considered to be something that you haven't worked on, something that will actually keep you behind. We don't need to live in our painting these sharp edges. So what we do, we try to round them, make them round like this. And then we fill the, the gap with some color. So now our edges, now our corners are more round and it is more smooth. And in general, whenever we do a circle, whenever we round things, make them more round, it uh, creates a more smooth feeling and uh, our mind can comprehend better a circle than a triangle. A triangle is, it's an interesting shape a triangle is a very nice uh, geometrical shape. But whenever we leave these angles in our art, in our painting, in our neurographic art, it creates some conflicts. So it is like a left conflict that you, that you haven't worked on, that you left it behind and it will be there and bother you. We need to pay attention to all the edges, to all the corners in our painting and to make all the edges round, to not leave anything, it is very important. So in the beginning chances are that you may skip something, you may not pay attention to all the edges and it's okay, it's normal. You can actually go back to your paintings and draw more on them. You can work more on your art. I'm glad to tell you that we are starting a new artwork. So this algorithm, translating from Russian, it's called algorithm of releasing restrictions. It's a basic algorithm that everybody starts with. It's uh, very easy to remember. You will see after a couple of uh, paintings, you are going to remember how to do it. What is important here, in the beginning, to think about a topic that you want to work on. It can be a problem that you need to find a solution to, or it can be, in general, an area in your, li in your life that you want to improve. And notice here that uh, it can be anything. It can be family, it can be your relationship, finances. Maybe you want to create uh, videos for YouTube, but you don't feel comfortable enough in front of the camera and you want to work on this problem so it can be really anything so let's start to draw and uh, first of all it's important to think about our problem about the topic that we want to work on and to find uh, our solution or just to feel relaxed and not to stress about it too much so think about your problem and i'm going to think about a topic of myself and what are we going to do now? We are going to write it down. So write it in a simple phrase. It can be some words, uh, uh, let's say, my relationship with my partner. Or it can be a sentence. It can actually be a sentence and uh, you can just try to express it as simple as possible. It is for you, it's not for somebody else, it, it is for you. So. Uh, I'm going to use my notebook here. 
and I'm going to write down my my topic that I want to work on the topic that actually creates some blocks in my head and some restrictions is the fact that I am a photographer most of you may know that most of you know that I'm a professional photographer and uh, uh, I really love my work. I really love what I'm doing. I just, uh, uh, I am eager to follow and evolve in this and progress. But I noticed that recently I have another interest as well. And one of them is tarot reading. So now I am thinking how to combine photography and tarot reading because uh, I am I am learning tarot reading I am practicing every day and uh, I have uh, already read a book and uh, I have done I have done readings to my family and friends I am practicing and I really think that I could do this professionally as well it is something that really brings me that energy that joy as the photography i believe it is very creative and it still has to do with people i love working with people and um, i just think that i want to combine these two things and uh, one stereotype that i have in my mind is that i am um, that i should be a one thing and nothing else because people will not understand this but this is not true you can be whatever you want to be in this life and uh, I want to work on this topic I, I already decided the good thing is that I already decided that that I already decided that I want to do it I just need to figure out the best way how to do it how to market myself should I use let's say one instagram account and promote my photography services and my tarot readings there or should i create a separate instagram account let's say or another social media account for my tarot readings so i'm having like this issue right now um i want to find a way to combine photography and tarot reading as a profession professionally so I already expressed my issue and uh, Express right now your issue. It can be something more simple. It can be something more complicated. It's up to you, to be honest. The good thing is that you can work on any issue, on any topic right now. Uh, and what we are going to do now? We are going to put a timer up to two minutes. And we are going to write down every word that comes to our mind considering the topic that we want to work about. So... Whatever comes to your mind, is if it's a word, if it's a phrase, if it's a combination of words, write it down. We have two minutes. So I'll put a timer on my phone. You put your timer on your phone. Do it uh, on your pace. And uh, I'm going to write down all the words that are coming to my mind. So I'm done with uh, my words. Whenever you're done with your words, we are going to proceed. You are going to need to count how many words you have written down. So let's say. So 
28 words. They say that if you have less than 20 words, it means that you don't really know about this issue or this topic too much. You haven't comprehended enough in your head. So you need to work on it more. When it's too many words, a little bit unusual, but if you have too many words, let's say you have 40 words, then uh, try to put another two minutes and uh, try to focus more on some important words that you want to write down. But usually it's something over 20 words until 30 words. And it's okay to have this. And now pay attention to the words that you have. Everybody will have different words. Actually, this is the first time I'm writing the words in English because I am a bilingual Russian and Greek. But I think most of my time in Russian, most of the time I was writing down words in Russian. But this time, because I was talking, because I'm talking in English in this video, I decided to write down in English. So it's interesting. It's an interesting experience for me. It's okay to have some repeats of the word. Pay attention. If you have a word that repeats itself, try to think what your unconscious try to tell you, what the universe tries to tell you. I have a repeating of the word introvert. Maybe it's because I'm an introvert myself and uh, the thing that I'm actually uh, creating videos and putting myself out there and uh, a lot of people are watching what I'm doing and. Um, actually helps helps me in a way to be more confident in myself and because we are social creatures it's important for me to be social as well i have some words as amateur which is i would say for me it's something it's not necessarily negative but uh, i understand that being an amateur is not being a professional so maybe this is one of my blogs that I believe that if I do both of these things, then I am going to be an amateur in the end and people will not see me as a professional. So do you see here what is happening? Try to pay attention to your words and um, see if you have more negative words or you have positive words or you have a mix of everything. It's normal anyway, whatever you have. Um, usually when you start creating your working on your neurographic art the words are going to be negative but we are going to do the same thing in the end to see the difference how the neurographic art actually helped us so this is the correct way to finish a neurographic art is to write down the words again in the very end and to compare it and usually people have and myself included more positive words in the end so we are going to see it's a nice experiment uh, so what else what else I see the word unique I like this word maybe I this will maybe this will make me a more unique professional out there not only a photographer but as well a tarot reader um, this is for me it's a very interesting combination I have seen other girls doing this um, other, I have seen other accounts combining photography or modeling or something to do with a creative profession and tarot or numerology uh, and different other things. So you can be whatever you want. So we have words like pain, mistake, who am I? Um, I see some words that, doesn't make any, that don't make any sense to me. Disturbance, issue. So I have quite a bit of uh, negative words but at the same time I have some nice positive words and uh, this is just a nice way to think about it and just to see what what my my mind tries to tries to tell me so I'm going to put away this now so now when uh, we have written our words down and we already have started to think about our topic now it's important to release the emotions or other in other words to do an emotional drop here we are going to need our old marker this is an old marker of mine um, it's a marker that doesn't write very good here it's important to actually think intensively about this issue that is just that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't let us leave this issue that um, is in our head and uh, we are stuck in the situation and we want to solve it 
badly. Maybe we had a fight with someone or we just are worried about an exam or some documents or, or something that we cannot control and we are stressed out about this. So think about your issue. I'm going to think about mine. Whenever you're ready, we are going to create <laughs> a doodle very intensively on the paper. Just put all your strength. That's why you need like a, an old one, because if you use a new one, you're going to damage it. So think about it, breathe in and release. <sighs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, it was so intense that I touched my tripod. So you did it. I did it. And we did it together. Um, this is our emotional drop. So there is no uh, right way to do it. You just uh, focus and you put all the energy at the, at the tip of your marker and just you can put uh, strength on the paper and the pressure and you can just release everything that was just inside you so you need to breathe in and release it and uh, while we are drawing our neurographic art it's important as well to uh, breathe in uh, to inhale deeply the air and exhale This will, help, this will help us to feel more relaxed. So let's continue. And right now we are going to, first of all, round our edges. Do you see the, the sharp corners that you have here? So we are going to round them down, to round the corners, sorry. And uh, we are going to put more lines in our painting so you can actually leave this figure you can go further in the paper and the, the the key here is so in the end he will not notice this figure at all this means that it um, that the solution is already created and it's coming into your way but you don't need to actually be able to see this this figure in the end it needs to blend in with all the Ah, uh, new, new, with all the neural lines that you have created. So we're doing this. So first we try to add as many neural lines as we want to. Try to actually feel uh, your paper. Don't leave blank moments here. Don't leave empty moments. Uh, because this is your life and you want to fill your life with all the nice things that you want to. So just uh, use this uh, space on your paper and just create. Um, and while you are creating your lines, you yes, you can put uh, more lines, you can add on top more lines, you can make things more thicker at some areas or, uh, or leave some areas as they are. It's, uh, it goes with your feeling. Try to feel the lines, try to feel the paper, try to uh, just feel the situation, what it creates. You analyze what you're feeling, analyze what uh, you are thinking right now. Um, most of you and including myself will start to think about something else and forget about this topic because our mind tends to shift attention. We cannot stack our attention for too long somewhere. It's like a self-defense mechanism in our mind. So we cannot be very focused at something for too long. And uh, you probably have noticed that when, when we were going to school, uh, that in school, all the classes are 40 minutes and not more because if, um, if, it, if, it, uh, if the classes were for longer, then it, it would be impossible to pay attention, you know. It is said that 
our attention that we can hold our attention maximum for 40 minutes and after our brain is just tired and we need to relax and the scary thing is that many people nowadays can't focus even a minute and especially with um, uh, so you see here i draw lines uh, like randomly not i don't have to do only the figure i can draw i can draw my lines uh, randomly here so oh yeah so nowadays because TikTok actually um, play, uh, plays a big role in this, but nowadays uh, people cannot really pay attention for even one minute. And this is scary because of the short videos and uh, they make us now focus, <laughs> I think, for seconds. I think uh, uh, for less than 15 seconds, sometimes... And I noticed it on myself, and this is so scary that I cannot finish a 15 second video. I want to, you know, to swipe up, to scroll, and uh, to watch the next one, just to shift my attention, to put it somewhere else. <laughs> and so much of the content consumption that is out there, and the the thing is that we consume so much content and. There is so, such a big quantity of content that comes in our way every day. But what about the quality of the content? Have you thought about this too? I try to uh, consume more quality content and I try to control it to, like, to, to be on my social media not for too long. Yes, I... I'm promoting myself online and I'm using my social media every day because I have to be able to be available to my clients, to uh, people that want to reach out. Uh, so it's important. It's important to be on social media, but I'm trying to not consume content that much uh, because um, I notice that my, my brain is just tired, <laughs> that uh, uh, I am just tired by the end of the day and uh, I haven't done anything. This is the problem. Like I haven't been active physically, but I've been like, let's say, most of my day on my phone and I'm tired because of the information that uh, I'm receiving every day. And um, so now I am... Uh, I just post my content and try to leave social media um, to not be stuck for too long. So uh, while you're drawing, you try to... Ah, whenever you feel that your paper is, you know, filled with lines, you can stop adding lines or maybe you will feel that you want to add more you can do it, you can do it, whatever you want, it's your artwork, um, just go with your feelings, and, um, and then you try to round all your edges, all your, all your corners, sharp corners that you may have, try to, try to focus, try to relax at the same time, uh, analyze, whatever comes to your mind so right now we have a lesson and this drawing is considered to be more as a test thing one because the real work is happening when you are by yourself when you are with your thoughts when you don't have anybody with you around you um, and you can put some meditative music like just music without words and it can really help you so the real work happens there and right now we are just uh, painting together and uh, this is for educational this is an educational video so i keep talking to you to uh, just keep you entertained and uh, share some 
interesting information with you and I'm explaining what I'm doing, but try to do it in silence your next drawings by yourself or with some yes meditative music and uh, i could speed up this video but i think right now that it would be incorrect because i want to explain something that i will do in this painting so it's better to <laughs> just prepare yourself it's going to be a long video but uh, it's it's very interesting it's very interesting if you really want to work on your problems uh, to work on your neuron system and uh, actually uh, put yourself to the progress faster, then this is for you, definitely. Uh, so yes, you need uh, patience. You need patience to do this. And you can also do it with your friends, with a family member. You can paint together. It's nice. Um, it's nice usually to feel that you're in a group, that you have some people that um, have the same interests with you, that want to um, become better, that want to evolve and progress all the time and improve themselves. So it's nice to do it with somebody else. You can do it. You can do it just uh, while you're drawing, try to not, you know, just, to chat but uh, try to focus on your work it's nice thing i was actually uh actually my boyfriend was uh, interested in trying this but um i don't know we were postponing it and uh, we never did it together while i was in the united states but i feel that everything is in the future and uh, Maybe we will do that together one day. But usually I was doing it by myself. You know, I uh, usually have uh, time late at night before sleep. And uh, I like to do it then. And actually you can draw um, at any time of the day, at any time you want. It can be in the morning, it can be in the middle of the day, uh, before your sleep. Uh, so the one thing so another thing that um, can happen here is um, that you may start feeling physically let's say right now my cheeks uh, are are red and they are very warm warm because maybe because i released that emotion before I felt very tense and I try to feel tense because I want to actually work on this problem. And uh, when you draw, you may start feeling uh, like different things. Maybe uh, you will start feeling it physically. Like, let's say, uh, maybe you will feel a little heavy, you know, your legs or some maybe your head maybe a headache will start or or maybe you will start feeling sleepy it affects everyone differently and even if you don't feel anything it's okay it's it's normal and uh, everybody goes with their own tempo with their own on their own pace and right now i feel that oh my cheeks uh uh, are red and uh, I'm touching my my forehead now I feel that I am warm um, maybe because because I'm actually talking for too long and um, my body feels tense because of this um, but it can be anything sometimes I feel just relaxed and sometimes I feel more tense when I draw so we uh whenever you create round figures they are considered to be some sources some resources some resources that you don't see right now they are maybe close enough they're in front of you these solutions you know these resources that you're not using 
And if you see that you are drawing too many round figures, too many circles, it means that you have some resources available here uh, or they're coming towards you and you can use them further. And the resources, you know, can be anything. It can be money, it can be, uh, it can be people, new connections, uh, new people in your life or some old people that actually may give you some advices that may give you an advice and uh, maybe so maybe somebody will advise me how to do it how to how to combine these two professions maybe i need to ask some questions i need to talk about this with more people um maybe i can even ask on my stories your uh, your opinion and uh, maybe somebody will help me out something is definitely coming into my way or i will come up with a you know with a solution maybe a you know maybe it's nice to create a separate a separate uh, account on instagram or on tiktok and uh, to share my knowledge on tarot there and to do my my spreads and readings there to add um, all the information about the consultations and uh, how you can book uh, and i can keep my main account and i can promote there my tarot services as well and photography services because my main account right now i am active there for three years and i have uh, my audience and some people are with me <laughs> during this time and they know me so i have created let's say a personal brand already and uh, whatever you do in your life and you you know when you have your audience you have people that follow you and uh, you know if people like your personality how you approach things your mindset how you think um, they are going to love whatever you do this is the case you have to show your true self to people and they will follow you for like forever follow not only on social media you know what i mean follow you where, wherever you will go and this is beautiful this is the impact the influence <laughs> this is what means to be to be a real influencer <laughs> uh, to make an impact on other people oh you know right now my throat hurts a little bit because i was talking for too long if you don't mind i will um i will stop talking right now so we are i suppose you are not done with your painting so Try to cover, try to uh, finish your painting, to not be interrupted by anything. Or if you are going to be interrupted, then try to come back as soon as possible to your painting and finish it. It's important, believe me, it's important to round up all the sharp edges and all the sharp corners that you have. I finished doing... Uh the rounding of the corners i don't have any sharp uh, edges anymore so the next step to our algorithm would be to add the color and uh, he said that when you add the color it's like you give character to your solution it's like you add life in uh, what you are creating this is uh, so amazing let me know in the comments if you had some difficult any difficulties on your way i'm going to add some colors now and this is the most interesting part for me so opa <laughs> oh, let, i will put them here okay so let me think what i want to do i want to go i think with with blue yeah i'm going to go with blue with the tiffany color <laughs> this is actually very nice so when you add the color there is another rule here it's important um to fill in the with the color 
uh, you can start wherever you want from here from here from here like from wherever you want but wh whenever you start to fill in the color it's important to have at least two uh, areas of the same color it can be more it can be three four five it can be the whole thing the same color it doesn't matter but it is important whenever you put a color to have at least two areas that are close to each other of the same color this and this or this one and this one so they are close to each other now or it can be more it can be three so we are adding this Tiffany color to my mirror graphic art. You know, the color just for me reminds me. Uh, it reminds me summer. It reminds me something refreshing. The scene. I start to feel that I am, you know, I feel the freedom. It's like the color of the freedom. I feel more relaxed, I, I start to believe more. This, uh, this is very interesting what colors can do. Okay, so I want to pick something else. I will pick this one. So I really, I really like this green. I don't know, is it called emerald green? I think so. So I'm going to add here some green details the good thing about the markers is that they're fast and you can finish faster but it's also very beautiful to to do it with pencils it's not necessarily it's not necessary but it's very beautiful to add some texture with the pencils and to play around with uh, the shadows and some areas can be more dark you can add more pressure you know and some areas can be more untouched let's say oh as well you can leave some spaces empty like with the white you can leave some spaces white it's uh, fine because white actually combines all the colors together so white can be a part of your neurographic art but try to not leave a lot of space empty because you actually need the color uh, but uh, it's okay it's okay to to leave some spaces white so this time i'm going to the green palette and i like it it's so refreshing green is amazing color for me green it connects for me with the earth with nature with the element of earth it connects with money for me give me a lot of these greens <laughs> uh, green is very rich for me green is uh, something so refreshing and alive it, it's actually very alive color I really enjoy green like I like green in my clothes I like green uh, in my photography and uh, I don't know if I would like green to be honest in the interior maybe yes like as a detail not not like a, as a wall well I think I don't know I don't know like it's it's interesting to experiment it's interesting to try things okay so you add the colors and this is a very fun process um yeah i will add here too oh i already feel better like before it was you know the same the black and white thing and now my figure is actually more oh I think it reminds me of frog. <laughs> so it's nice while you're painting to uh, to look at your painting to and to let your imagination work and think what it can be. 
what figure is this it can be so unintentional like i was not planning to create a frog but it happens to be a frog for me now so what can be a frog a frog can be oh a frog transforms all the time like during uh, the frog's life the frog passes through transformation uh, I don't know how it's called in English, the small frog, the big frog, but you know, the evolution of the frog. So maybe it has to do with, with a transformation. My topic is a transformation. I transform and uh, I'm not only a photographer and I decided that I want to be more than a photographer that they want to have other professions they want to create some things with my hands uh, maybe in the future maybe uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if i'm going to announce it now but maybe um so i guess it's a constant i guess it's like an evolution we have we we have evolution all the time in our lives. We have progress and it's good to see a transformation and not to be stuck in stereotypes, not to be stuck in the same motives. If we want some changes, we just create the changes. We don't need anyone's approval. We don't need anyone like to decide for us. We just want change and we do the change. So if um, you want to add more lines, more black lines, you can do that. So here I, I want to add a line here and I will round my corner because, because I don't want to put green to all of these spaces i just want to put it here so you can add more lines wherever you feel wherever you need them hmm. uh ah yeah i will let's not forget about the head of the frog so i'm really enjoying that i have a frog now <laughs> and um, oh i can actually think about my frog that my frog can be a prince you know, if we take the fairy tale. Um, so the frog can become a prince or a princess. And this is interesting because sometimes, you know, you have, a, you have created something, let's say it's an artwork, let's say it's an online course, let's say it's um, a dish, a cooking dish, I don't know, what, whatever you feel that you created but you are not sure if it's ready yet to be seen by people maybe you want to work more on it or maybe you just want to add that extra um, magic you know that extra belief in you to, be, to believe in yourself more to believe in your project more then your project can actually become from the frog the prince or the princess or it's you or me in <laughs> in this occasion it's me i have the frog so maybe from the frog i am becoming a true princess that i that i always have been so enough with the nonsense <laughs> um i want to add green but i don't want to mix it up now so i'm going to add some green here because the frog where do we have frogs? Ah, we have frogs in ponds, right? In lakes, in rivers, right? Yes, yes. Oh, I remember, so when I was in the United States, we, we visited Baltimore. It was actually my second time in Baltimore, but this time we went to the aquarium. There is a famous aquarium there. It's big and um, we... We went on a Sunday and it was very busy, crowded, a lot of families there. So uh, it was not the smartest decision, but uh, what I want to say to you that besides the fish, you know, the sea world that we saw there, we also saw there was a section 
that wanted to imitate there was a section imitating the amazon forest and it was very cool um it was the cool it, the cool was the transition you we were at this in the sea world and then we took the escalator and we go up 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 and we transitioned to the amazon forest and um, it was actually uh, they were trying to create that feeling, the climate, and um, there were uh, birds, uh, there were some opossums, opossums? No, 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 there, there were these, uh, uh, these animals that sleep all the time, I forgot their, I forgot how they call, they will attach, I will attach their name on the video, uh, and uh, and what we saw? We saw frogs. We saw uh, the frogs that live in the Amazon forest and uh, most of them are so poisonous, like they're very dangerous. But they are so beautiful. These small froggies, <laughs> these small frogs, they are colorful. Uh, they were red, blue, yellow, green, obviously, black any type of frogs and they were very small so I think I'm going to add more greens here and after I'm going to add my lake where my frog lives uh, let's use yeah, let's use this color. So this is my lake and my frogi. And I want to call I, I like you know I like to cover my paintings so I don't like to leave white. Mm, I haven't discovered yet what it means about myself, why I don't like the white. I feel that it is something unfinished, but if you feel that you want to leave some white spaces, I repeat myself here that you can do it. It's totally fine. I just, maybe I tend to make things, you know, perfect all the time. I wouldn't consider myself a perfectionist, but I think I just want to finish things. I like to finish things. So I just want everything to be covered. But we will see. We will see this time. Maybe I will leave something white just for a change. For. <laughs> I don't like changes, but I think it's nice to do some changes once in a while. It, this is where we actually progress. So, I think I will add more blue here. This is actually very, very impressive. I think I want after after this video, I think I want to add pencils. I will not do it right now. I think I will do it after. Right now I want to really to show you fast as fast as possible how to do it so you can create your paintings as well. Um I don't know. I'm really, I'm really curious to see your paintings. I'm just, I'm just thinking how we could do it. Maybe let's do this. If you follow me on Instagram, on Instagram. If no, please do it because why not? I share interesting things there. Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram and you want to share your your graphic art with me you can post your neurographic art on your story and you can tag me with my nickname on your story and uh, so i will be able to actually see your artwork and uh, if you don't feel like sharing it then uh, you can send me a dm on my instagram with your neurographic art and I would be very glad to to see it to see uh, wh what you created yes 
Oh, I don't understand why I sit uncomfortably. Oh, excuse me. I moved a little bit the camera. I do understand why I tend to sit uncomfortably. Whew, it's much better now. <coughs> so, I'm continuing with my blue. I feel amazing. I feel amazing. Maybe it's the fact that I'm doing a video and I just enjoy talking with you. You know, right now I'm talking with myself, but <laughs> just the fact that people are going to see this video just warms my heart. So it feels like I'm talking with you. And I noticed a big progress in my confidence and in my talking. The more you work on something, the better you are. And I feel that my talking now, my rhetoric skills now are becoming much better. I tend to fill the gaps more easily, you know, in my speech. I, I still work on it. I try to not use the filler words or filler sounds. And, uh, and I started to notice that words just come easily to my mind. I don't have too long gaps. Um, this is surprisingly, <laughs> this is a good surprise for me. Um, so I use these markers for a while now and I feel that I will need to renew them to buy new ones. Okay. Now actually let's continue with with the blue or no <laughs> I want to change my blue I'm going to add this one so do 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 yeah here you know I still have the that fear of, um, you know, overcame myself uh, by talking to a camera. I can easily now do that and I feel confident. But whenever I imagine that, uh, <laughs> that I will have to speak, uh, you know, on a stage or in front of a group of people to do a presentation, uh, usually my <laughs> school and university presentation sucked because it was just difficult to do that in front of people um, and I still think that it's insane to do that and I would like to have that skill to be able to talk in front of a lot of people on a stage this is paradox because I'm scared of this I feel that this is definitely not my comfort zone, <laughs> but at the same time, I want it. I want to go there. So, how do you? How can you explain that? And I remember uh, being uh, very shy when I was younger in school. Um, to that point, that people were actually asking me why I'm so shy, and I didn't know what to tell them. Like you ask a child why, or your classmate, why you are shy. So what I'm supposed to tell you? I don't know. Even <laughs> if I could explain it, I would tell you, but I don't know why I'm shy. Yeah, it was a little bit tricky. It was a little bit complicated to talk to people. And I believe that actually creating videos. Oh, so before creating videos, I, I worked on my communication skills uh, because uh, I had to work with clients, I had to work with people, photography, you know. Um, so it is very important and vital to have communication skills. Uh, so my profession really helped me out. It just... I just overcame myself. Um, it wasn't scary anymore because I was doing what I love 
I wasn't scary anymore to to talk to people, to express my my thoughts, to ask them questions, to, to actually make them feel confident in front of the camera, to tell them how to pose. Uh, so, so I already worked on that and my profession actually helped me in my confidence to talking to people. After I can say that social media helped me because uh, because of Instagram I have met very nice people that we are friends now. Uh, so some of them I have met online and some... Um, no, and some I like a lot I have met online and a lot we just became more closer to each other because of social media, because we were able to see what is going on in our lives. And so we bonded. So social media, I believe it's an amazing tool if you use it correctly, you know. And the third thing that really helped me, and I believe this is a separate video topic that I should create, what helped me to be more confident. Um, so the third thing is creating videos, the overcoming that fear of uh, talking to a camera actually just made me to progress and uh, I would say X 10 times just to have uh, and improve that skill set over and over again of expressing your thoughts to a camera to yeah this can be scary in the beginning but believe me it's only the beginning so here i am adding more mirror lines with black marker because i decided to leave some white spaces but I want them to be smaller and oh here I wanted to to tell you that do you see here I left the white so I need either to put green here either to separate so I'm going to separate it uh, and now it's like I have created two spaces and I can't have two white spaces i couldn't have one so pay attention to this and i will add i think more uh well, maybe i'll add here yeah i will add one more here yeah so it uh, doesn't have uh, to be necessary that you have actually a figure. It just happened this time that I have a frog, that I saw a frog, but if you don't see any figure, don't don't really what, don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Just uh, try to pay attention to your state, how you feel, what are your thoughts, this is important. Um, maybe already some ideas came to your mind or maybe you just feel more relaxed or on the contrast maybe you feel more frustrated everything can happen maybe you feel angry maybe you were feeling disappointed before and now you're angry you know anger can bring up, bring us to very amazing results if you just let your anger lead you towards the direction that you need you know sometimes we can be so inactive and procrastinating all the time and if we just become so angry with ourselves and just say no i'm going to progress i'm going to achieve that what i want and no matter what everybody else is thinking or no matter what i believe about myself and then the true magic happens so i'm satisfied with uh, my colors and i'm going to leave it like this so whenever you decide that you're satisfied with your colors oops yeah this video is too long that my candle is done 
So whenever you feel that you are satisfied, we are proceeding to the next step. The next step is called uh, the field lines. We are going to add some field lines. Now I'm going to explain what is this. So it is neural lines again. We are using a more thicker marker. I'm using a black thicker one. You can use another color. The necessary part is, the important part here is that it is visible. They need to be visible. And these are the lines, let's say this is the energy that, that we add from the universe. So before we were working on our, on our problem, on our topic, but now we let the universe put its magic. We let the universe to help us to. So we put that energy towards our topic. So we can draw mm, two field lines or three li lines or four lines. Like, let's say from three to five, it doesn't have to be a lot of them. And we can draw them from the top to, to you know, going down. And it can repeat the line that is here or it can be a new one. It's okay. Just pay attention to your edges again. Try to not create sharp edges. No, yeah, nowhere. So we are working. Ah, uh, yeah, and you can go towards any direction. You can go uh, uh, from up, upside down, or you can go from down to up. Or you can go, you know, like this or like this, but pay attention so these lines don't cross each other. You don't need that here. These lines need to be separately. They can be from three to five, but try to not cross them. And everything is going to be amazing. So, so you see? my field lines are actually visible and you need to see them. You need to be able to see them on your painting. Okay, I let the universe to help me and bring towards my direction everything that will help me to achieve my goal, to combine these two professions, to try myself in tarot as well, to feel confident about it and <laughs> uh, just to let myself do that because I want it and if I want it then I need to do it okay and I think I want to draw a third one here and that's it for me so I am doing this <clears throat> Okay, perfect. So we have our field lines. Like this. Okay. And in the end, in order to finish your artwork and to put like an ending and um, it's called a stamp. You put a stamp on your artwork. It means that it's done. The algorithm is done. And uh, then you leave, <laughs> you know, the, the magic to work. You can draw, actually, let's do the stamp. And after I'm going to finish my thought. So you need to find a place on your painting where you see like an obvious circle. We need to put a circle. This is our going to be this is going to be our stamp. Um, so it can be obvious, or if you don't see a circle on your painting, you just create one. Um, because we have a frog here, <laughs> I will do that. I will add this circle figure uh, so it's going to be like more oval than than a circle so it doesn't have to be you know a correct circle you just want a circle figure so it can be something like this 
I decided to emphasize this part to emphasize this part of my painting so here is it here it is okay I'm done that's it and after the the algorithm the algorithm is done and after that um, you can either continue adding more lines adding more colors maybe you want to work with with uh, i don't know with the markers with uh, the pencils and uh, you can come back to your painting the next day it's totally fine you can come back in 10 days in a month uh, you can hang it on the wall if you really like it i would like to work more here just uh, for this video i need to stop <laughs> um, and to say goodbye to you but um, that's it so this was the algorithm of um, releasing the restrictions so friends we are done see what i create but we i wanted to say we but I created this and you created obviously your painting. I hope you joined me in uh, this uh, very nice neurographic art session. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, if you like this type of videos, I will create more. So yes, the emotions are uh, just uh, overwhelming right now. That's it for today. Until the next time. See you soon.